Yo! What's up guys? Really quickly before we get into it, I want to tell you guys over at Uncut Outdoors, I am uploading over there only all of my how-to uh, duck calling, goose calling tutorials, as well as videos like today's that went up over there, which was the fastest and easiest way to clean your dove. You know, just videos like that will have to go up over there because they can't go up over here. The link to Uncut is always down below. You have to use my link. Please do so, it helps me out a ton. Let's get into it. Where is that rascally rabbit? He's right behind this bush. Well, get ready to smoke him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that's out there. We definitely gonna lose him. Little wooly here. Little wooly, it is wooly. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. It's real nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. A little fog layer. Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back. Uh, like I promised, public land dove hunt. This is just a pasture with a lot of dead trees, and we got old G Wagon with us. Uh, three mojos, we're sitting under a tree. Tons of dead trees around us. It's a pretty, uh, pretty neat hunt. Not your normal cut corn filled, wheat filled hunt, water, just dead trees, pasture, and the smell of cow poop in the morning. Gerald just sniped one. That was a high shooter. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Check it out. Uh, down in the valleys, the fog's laying. That was a nice shot, old G-Wagon. Walk in public land today. Um, now you can see something. I'll show you what's going on. Right here somewhere. Right here somewhere. Definitely on the back side of that bush. Those feathers. We got feathers. We got a bird with a band. Hundred dollar reward. 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 No band. What'd you say? Who shot hundred dollar oh reward? Up in Nebraska, shot three of them yesterday. In one day, in one hunt. In one morning. Three hundred dollar reward bands. So three dove with Six one hundred dollars <laughs> reward bands on them in one hunt, one day, one guy. What? Lucky fella. Very lucky fella. And by the way, y'all, uh, on the last video, I was like, if you shot a band of dove, drop a comment. I cannot believe the amount of people. Is there a lot? Oh, I mean, I'll go back through that video from yesterday. I bet you, I don't even know. Well over 30, 40, I don't know. That were like in a lot of reward bands too. People said that they shot, but welcome back guys. Uh, excited about this hunt. Gonna have to let the uh, fog lift here. But before we get going, I wanna tell you, uh, man, if you guys are interested in coming to Kansas this fall uh, to hunt ducks and geese with us at Sand Hill Flyway, I would, uh, I'd say, go to the website. It's always linked down below. Fill out the inquire to book form quickly. We are filling up. So, Gerald, you also have some spots available, um, South Dakota? Missouri's still got a few. And this is the last week people have to get their deposits in. Oh. So if uh, I'll be contacting some of those people. I think there's three dates left in Missouri. And there's a lot open in South Dakota, but we're just there a lot shorter. So it'll fill up real quick. Like gotcha. it's only two weeks opposed to a month. Gotcha. So South Dakota will fill up pretty quick as well once we get rolling on it. Gerald's doing conservation snow goose hunting this coming spring, Missouri, South Dakota. So if you're interested in conservation hunts, you need to get a hold of Gerald, not me. A lot of people have called saying, I want to hunt conservation. I'm like, call Gerald, tell him I sent you. So my number's on the Facebook and yeah. the Instagram so they can He's got his number there. everywhere, but Instagram right here would probably be the fastest and easiest yeah. way for them to find you. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not an Instagram person, Facebook, they can Facebook. call me, leave me a voicemail, shoot me a text. Yeah, whatever. Facebook. I'll, I'll, I'll put his Facebook normally in. within the day. Okay. I'll put his Facebook and everything down here. So. Oh, yeah. Two shots. He gone. He gone. There goes two. Yeah, buddy. Come on, y'all know what to do. Come on. Come on, let's get this video right now. 3K. 3K thumbs ups, that would be amazing. 
Now where'd my bird go? There's feathers. There he is. He needs a little help. Give that boy some milk. Well, two on the board. He came right to the mojo. He loved it, loved it. That was cool. Hopefully it gets a little hot and crazy around here. That's the situation we're just posted up underneath the tree. Oh. There we go. Number two. Man down. Heck yeah, I'm shooting a lot better today. It's all it's all cause you're here. <laughs> Heck yeah. Might be another one coming. Alright. This is the problem. We got some grass. So finding them. Right there. There we go. No ban. Oh my. Well, this is neat. That sun really sucks. Oh, they're going to get in on this side. Nothing. Oh, uh, maybe one. Hit him in the butt. Wow, that was a big flock and I completely whiffed. Oh. Oh, got him in the butt. Did you get did you get that other one? Yeah. Nice. Three birds down in a matter of seconds, they are starting to fly. They're coming right to this one. Heck yeah. That was a clip. Dude, he was like two foot from my face. All right, where are you at? He almost hit this tree. Another feather. There he is. Yeah, he was hauling. Yeah, dude, I've... He, he bounced a long ways. Yeah. <laughs> That was good. Yeah, that was awesome. They do they concentrate to this one. It must be this sand. They can see it's so. nice and sandy. Heck yeah, what do you got? Three? I got three. Three, I got three. Nice. So. This is going good. You're right, it's gonna take a little bit for him to fly today. It did yesterday. Did it? Yeah, I mean it was 8.30. It's 8.12 now. That's awesome. On the money, we're on the board again. Look at you, four in. Yeah, I'm shooting 100% so far. Is it? Yeah. 100% on the old shooter. That bird, that last one, I didn't get to record it, but. He about sat on that mojo, didn't he? He had his feet. I thought his feet were going to literally land on the back of that mojo. You just waited and then, boop, plucked him right well, off the top. I was blind. I couldn't see anything. Yeah, they're all coming from this way, looking into the sun. Awesome, man. They're decoying really well. No, they ain't. Oh, here we go. Get in here. Man, you, that is blinding. Oh, they're coming this way. Nice shot. Miss and a miss. I'm definitely not 100%. <laughs> Show everybody your new blammy. Dude, it's pretty. It really is. G G four G G Wagon Fall. Yeah. G, yeah, G Wagon I'm Fire. I'm pretty stoked on it. Dude, I think it's... I like it more than my Benelli, which is quite the task for me because that's my go-to. Bought it brand new, huh? 300 bucks? 300 bucks. Dude, I've never a... even heard Dude, of them. I haven't either. I think maybe I've heard or seen one before. And I was like, we got one coming. I mean, you can't go wrong with 300 bucks. We got a bird coming right at us. You're up. Oh, don't nope, do that. Nope. He uh. He landed. He got short stoppers. Three hundred bucks, dude. Yeah, That's dude, sweet. You're, you're shooting good with it too. It shoots really good. It's got like a bronze finish on it. She pretty. It is pretty. Let's see if I can break it. <laughs> see if I can break it. Uh, you'll definitely break it in. Uh, yeah, no. This time next year, be completely rust, and he'll still love it just as much. Yep. <laughs> as long as it has an, a good an extension tube, we'll be good. Yeah. Banded. God, that'd be awesome. Well, I just stoned one. I hope I got it on the. Uh... Oh, you got like five more. Oh goodness! Thing. Get ready. He was right by that tree. Look at this. This one's doing it.
I gotta get that one first. Hey, behind you. <laughs> you got two to, I have two to pick. Oh, you just shot two again? Oh God, they came in groups. Holy smokes, we just killed four birds in a matter of seconds again. This guy landed down in here though. There we go, found him. Heck yeah, dude, man, they decoy so well. And I got one over here again by this tree. Had to have been right here. Oh, there he is. I got him. Naked. Naked. Oh, two coming at us. I'll go this way. Oh. Oh. Not good. <laughs> oh, you got him at the oh. end. Oh, he's down. He's down. That boy's down. <laughs> Better get some my, bullets. My uh, shooting streak is over. Dude, they got close. Like, real close. It got hard. Yep. Swing them at a lot. Look at all those. Holy smoke. Load up. Good Load them up, boys. Hurry up. Might get wild now. Look at all those. There's one coming right at us. Get him. That's you. I might have shot the mojo on that deal. Holy smokes, yeah, they're flying now. Do you have shells? Yeah. You want to see if you can find that one out there? Yeah. There he is. Uh, maybe not. I thought I smoked it. I'll go pick up Gerald's. Heck yeah. I think that's number seven for me. Going. Oh my god. Well, that was tough. Couldn't get around the tree in time. One landed yeah, in this. Went down under that tree. Is that your bird? That's the one I was shooting at. All right. See if I can walk them out for you. They came right to our tree. That was hard shooting. They didn't really decoy very well. I'm out of bullets. I'll pick up my shells on the way back. I gotta see if the Gerald's bird's dead. Eight on the board for me, I believe. Where'd you go? Oh yeah, there he is. He's flopping around. All right, two more down for both of us. Alrighty, found the bird, found my empty shells, boom boom, pick them up guys, pick them up, it's awesome, really slowed down here, uh, but they come in uh, groups like that, groups of five, groups of ten all at once, you won't see any for 20 minutes, it just comes in, uh, it flares up, awesome little hunt man, public land can't beat it. That's a poke, he missing his tail? Definitely. He's been, he been through this before. <laughs> He's missing his entire tail. Well, that's a, definitely flapping like a dove, but he don't have a tail on him. Well, at a uh, at a different spot. I moved. Uh, girl went home, and uh, figured I'd come do a little jaunt over here and try a different spot. This is where we've seen mo the majority of the birds flying. They have a line just just feeds these uh, dead trees north of me, north to south. They're coming from the south to the dead trees. So it's late in the morning now. It's about 10.40 uh, a.m. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can scratch a few here. I'm at eight birds, really good shooting percentage today. Gerald killed it. I think he only missed once or twice. Uh, been a lot of fun today. So 
just gonna try to cap it off hopefully kill a few the bad thing is it's a good flight line but now we're dealing with really really deep grass so now the birds that much easier to lose them i haven't seen a bird in a while it might be done but i hope you guys are liking the public land videos um a lot more public land to come i know you guys love them and honestly getting out here and finding these little spots dude no one knows about this spot and, and if someone does they haven't came and checked it for dove because if they had <laughs> they would have they'd be hunting it like me so little secret public honey holes this is fun i'm glad you guys enjoy these if you have not please come on 0.2 seconds not even not even a full second does it take for you just to smash that thumbs up and hit the notification bell turn it on see if you like it try it out there's over 60 percent of y'all that have not turned on the notification button i get it some of you probably don't like getting a little pop-up but it doesn't bug you the only time that you actually get a notification is when i upload little deal will pop up on your phone bloop bobby uploaded you can ignore it you don't even have to look at it you can open it whatever turn it on try it out huh. he does not want to move Number nine. <laughs> yes. Yes. One more in the bag. One more on the grill. There he is. Nice. So this is actually private property now. Uh, this is a whole half section of pasture that I have permission to hunt that butts up to the public. And I believe I have found these birds water source. And it's over here on this private piece. Ooh. Oh, missed him. About to be a lot in the air. Oh my goodness, check this pond out. This is going to be the place to hunt. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, oh I just found a better honey hole. <laughs> There's dove all over this thing. Well, I can tell you where our next hunt will be. Right here. Check this pond out. All these dead trees around this dead pond dead pond around this little pond holy smokes we're gonna have to come here in the evening or in the morning you guys tell me what would be better morning or evening oh my goodness look at this ho 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 yeah buddy well i shot one starling and zero doves <laughs> but good day this was a very good day no i did not limit out i don't care if i ever limit it i don't care i had a great time with my friend public land can't beat it so me and gerald were talking uh lots of these white wing dove do the white wings white wings uh what do i have one two three four but uh i don't know a lot about the white wing dove uh, they're not Eurasian dove, not collared, not that type of white wing, but small white wing morning dove. Um, Gerald was saying down south, Texas, um, I would say Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, New Mexico. That's where a lot of these white wing usually are. And they usually don't, quote, come up this far north. So if any of you out there have any information whatsoever on the white wing dove situation and why there's so many here in Kansas, drop a comment and let me know. I'm assuming it got so hot uh, down south, it's been a really dry year, and they might have worked their, their way up north to parts that they're not used to being in. Uh, just migrated a little farther north than usual. I don't know. Um, that would be my guess if I had to have an educated one, but I'm no expert. So if any of you guys are experts, be sure to drop a comment. And let me know did not plan on literally stumbling across this public spot um again uh this is not a feed uh they like all these dead trees around here see all these dead trees like this just everywhere and they love them uh midday they come to sit in them we shot everything early morning it, uh, right at about eight it started popping so 
It took a little bit. We had a lot of fog this morning that had to lift, but it got good. Eight birds on the day, I'll take it. Again, I don't have to limit out to have a bunch of fun. That was a good hunt in my book. That was a good hunt. Took a dirt road that I never do. Kept my options open, my eyes open. Stumbled across a new little honey hole. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been